my fellow classmate Frank and a few other of our colleagues from class visited the Museum of Modern Art and Design in the city. By the way, my name is Nathan. The Very Design Gallery on the first floor celebrates the work of artist Very Newman. This exhibition displays the iconic line of women's scarves, all of which are signed Vera and stamped with a ladybug, as well as thousands of textile patterns based on her other works. Her creative designs are derived from Japanese ink paintings. The second floor of the museum focused on sculptures rather than 2D art. One sculpture that caught our attention was Helen Lee's 1-slash-F. Helen Lee is a Chinese-American artist who explores the nature of language through her art. She intended for the sculpture to capture the essence of pink noise. Through her work, such as Flourish, Lauren Kalman investigates beauty, adornment, body image, and the built environment. She builds objects and environments that interact with the body, and at times uses her own body as the medium or site. This cloud-esque work of art was submitted for the Burke Prize 2019. The works of multiple artists collectively constitute a timely reflection on what it means to be American today. Raven Half Moon's Still Here serves to address the misconception that indigenous culture is a thing of the past. She creates sculptures that reflect her identity as a Native American. The world of Anna Sui features approximately 100 looks from the designer's archive. With her signature rock and roll label in the 90s, she reinvented pop culture fashion. She popularized the boutique fashion look and is known for her legendary approaches to creating narratives. Tamara Santi Benez's belt slash border consists of 94 hand-painted pyramid studs that represent pieces of Mexican calavera pottery. Our experience meeting an artist was very interesting. We viewed various works created using pre-existing objects and textiles. Overall, our trip to the Museum of Modern Art and Design was very interesting and it was fun to see how art can represent many different aspects of life.